Hi YouTube, this is Sohan from Programming Hunter and today we make Cordova plugin which is used in our existing Cordova project. So just open your command prompt and type plugman create plugin name you already know. If you know, just pass my previous tutorial for better way to understand. So just name each hello. And now give a plugin ID. So my plugin ID is Cordova plugin. Cordova plugin. And now my plugin name. Hello. Now I give plugin version. So plugin version, you get the just and now zero point one point one that's my plugin version i just give that my version now i make if you make uh, your project for git if you have id on github and you have uh, make a plugin globally and everyone to use just you create your uh, uh, package json uh, in which uh, in which the value based from the plugin dot xml file mean plugin dot xml file in which uh, we are mapping all the class file which are uh, making for which are working for native purpose so that's our uh, uh, mapped in our plugin dot xml file and that uh, value is in inside in our uh, packages and just like my plugin working I mean which uh, use for this plugin and my plugin name something all these things are for uh, uh, this JSON file are included in this JSON file so just create that so plugman create Now, and now this is your diet. Now, that's your name, that's your version. That's if you have globally, that's why you have link. If not, just and please um, provide a license from GitHub. You write here, yeah, that's you. And now, your plugin is created. Type yes, and now. After that, you see that your plugin will be created. Just see. Now, hello, this is plugin is created, but here no platform file. So, just go to your and now just add plugin. Platform at platform name now you see that this folder is created and this consists of Java file. So now we working in this portion. So just open it, and also we have working in our plugin dot xml file. So just open it. Also that, and also working in our interface dot js file. So also open this. So. Firstly, we working in our plugin dot xml file. So, firstly, we have a proper target that's we have just only type here code over plugin to use a, our method plugin method to call using interface dot js. That's why we use code over dot plugin and dot which method you used in our uh, your interface.js file 
uh, our interface file is this that's hello.js it's our interface file and that method call using this cordova.plugin after that you name this method name and uh, now something change uh, also change also feature name we have firstly call uh, plugin so first time call plugin just name call plugin and now so also you change this that's your package name and now you change your package name and also change the target directory after your project built so that's your target and now uh, all change we done and now this call plugin we also used in uh, our interface or just so just type call plugin and now this method we use we call so we call for so console something so um, so console me uh, here we so that's method uh, things all the things which we need uh, which we give uh, to the plugin which are uh, see in our console so how is that just uh, wait now this is action some action so some action just for action to action so so now this action change and also some change in our now the package is also change so now you change your package and also you change this action so uh, action so that's your now your plugin should be me here we give something that our uh, have a response and which, which response seen in our console so now open android studio so firstly we add this plugin in our code over project because this plugin call in our code over project without code over project this can't uh, uh, use so that's why we need a code over project for calling we see anything should be change uh, not so that's my plugin name you already know and that's my plugin id so you see that and that's my plugin version so nothing to be changed all things should be clear so now uh, okay so these plugin are added in our main file so just out of this file and now just uh, go to the plugin file project file sorry code over project file so my first plugin cd first app. so that's my code over project and now add this plugin in our code over so how to that so now we add uh, this plugin in our code over project so code over plugin add uh, name and just because it's uh, that's create uh, in uh, where our code over project and that and project uh, uh, and that location also uh, my plugin location so that's why we have now my plugin installing so installing start after installing just build make build of your project
now you uh, your build is successfully so now you close this and open android studio and also close this uh, and also close this also so now you open actually uh, you open the project so now going to user shubham and now this is my first step and now here 